हेलो एवरीवन हाय कैन यू प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ आई एम विजिबल एंड ऑडिबल बोथ do give me a thumbs up so that i know that i am visible and audible so that i can begin the lecture okay i think it's time about time it's exactly uh, one minute left for the lecture to begin so i would um, request people to join in as soon as possible today we'll be covering the papillosquamous disorders a few basic concepts about papillosquamous disorders hi can you please tell me if i am visible and audible both do give me a thumbs up so that i know Okay so just to introduce myself I am Dr Reshim Vasani I am a practicing dermatologist at Matunga I am also attached as a clinical research associate at the BJ Wadia Hospital for Children I was attached with the KJ Somaya Medical College and Hospital as faculty for 10 years and I left it in 2020 uh, my core interest is clinical dermatology and pediatric dermatology and i am on an academy since the past 3 months and uh, i would like to transfer this passion of uh, clinical dermatology to students and that's why i am here so before i begin i think before many people join in let's let's see what's the plus subscription of an academy so this plus subscription of an academy gives you access to the best of an academy which includes daily live classes structured courses live tests and quizzes and unlimited access uh there is also something called as the iconic prescription which is going to get you a combo offer of both the an academy plus subscription plus the prep ladder subscription uh so basically from the an academy it gives you live classes and batch courses live tests and quizzes while from prep ladder you have the video lectures and the question bank and rapid revision courses so also if you see the subscription which is the iconic subscription definitely it comes out to be cheaper as compared to two individual subscriptions So, if you subscribe for twelve months, that would cost you around four thousand one hundred and twenty-five. For eighteen months, it would be around three thousand three hundred. For twenty-four months, it would be two thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight per month. While for thirty-six months, it will be two thousand three hundred a month. Okay. Ah, uh, also there are free live classes on an academy need PG. So do ah uh, follow me on an academy so that you are updated about all the live classes that come in. uh which are completely free of cost there is also a free live test on an academy need pg which happens every day at 9 pm it will be very beneficial for you if you attend this test live it will be a series of 20 questions so as to keep you on the top of the game so also there is a free live test every day at 8 pm and it will definitely benefit you if you attend it live So for this, you just need to uh, up, up, uh, download the An Academy Learning app, okay? And uh, depending upon your choice, you can either choose the Plus subscription or the Iconic subscription, and for the duration of your choice. And when you do do so, please use the code DRRESHAM10 and get a ten percent off. There is also uh, Ace FMGE batch coming up where I will I am also teaching. and uh, this is targeted specifically to students who are appearing for the fmge 
and all the high yield topics from all the important subjects will be covered you can subscribe to this particular uh, session as well and when you do so please use the referral code drresham10 so these will be the educators and these will be the number of hours a dermatology for fmge will be a very short course of around 4 hours so it's already started on 12th of november and it will go on up to 12th of november so that will be 30 days so with that i think we have a few people around i want the session to be interactive i want you to ask questions i want you to participate in the uh, question answer session so please be active on the chat okay so let's begin please give me a thumbs up should i begin hello anyone here please give me a thumbs up okay okay yes yes sadaf yes manoj thank you for that yeah so sora now among the papillomas disorders the most important papillomas disorder about which we need to know is the psoriasis now sora literally means itch okay and it's an itchy chronic recurrent immune mediated disease what you need to know from the mcq point of view that psoriasis does exhibit the voronoff's ring so what is the voronoff's ring it's a concentric ring of hypopigmentation which happens around the healing lesions of psoriasis this is because of the release of uh, prostaglandins which causes this kind of a hypopigmentation so if you see a concentric rim of hypopigmentation around the healing lesions of psoriasis it is suggestive of the voronoff ring so this may come to you as an mcq as well and is as an image based mcq as well swarnadatha so, very good it's because of the release of prostaglandins now let's uh, go for a question identify the clinical variant of psoriasis which is shown in the image so you have to let me know whether it is a chronic plaque psoriasis b flexural psoriasis c gutted psoriasis or d pustular psoriasis yes swarnalata says it's a chronic plaque type psoriasis anyone uh, with a different answer sadaf also says it's chronic plaque type psoriasis dipendra and satvik both say it is chronic plaque type psoriasis and all of you are correct yes it is chronic plaque type psoriasis now as you can see in this picture the plaques of psoriasis they are very well defined they are having the classical silvery micaceous scales over and above them and they are localized onto areas like the chest and on the pubic area yes sadaf you are right silvery micaceous scales are something very classically described for psoriasis flexural psoriasis would occur in the flexural areas like it will occur in the armpits it will happen in the groins uh, may happen in the inframammary areas right so it's not flexural psoriasis because the distribution is not the same and so also in flexural psoriasis the scales will not be as evident as in chronic plaque type psoriasis the reason being that because it's a fold so there is a lot of moisture there is humidity so the scaling does come down okay gutted psoriasis now gutted psoriasis is an entity which you see especially in children it is seen in individuals most probably after a streptococcal sore throat and the lesions are gutted gutted means rain drop like okay so there are multiple lesions which are tiny centimeter sized lesions and as sadaf has rightly said it is because of a preceding group a beta hemolytic streptococcus and please remember that gutted psoriasis is a psoriasis which has good prognosis so once you treat the streptococcal sore throat within a few weeks the lesions of psoriasis do come down yeah treatment uh, you are asking me treatment of gutted psoriasis yes you have to treat the streptococcal sore throat pustular psoriasis obviously the lesions are primary lesion will be a pustule yes absolutely sadaf very rightly said they are sheets of pus or lakes of pus in pustular psoriasis very good so psoriasis vulgaris vulgaris means most common 
okay so they have a triad of erythema which happens because of new blood vessel synthesis there is thickening because of the thickened epidermis and there is scale which is because of the faulty keratinization and faulty exfoliation as i mentioned earlier the classical scales are silvery micaceous scales as we just discuss what happens in guttate psoriasis there are small guttate lesions which are 2 to 5 mm in size typically they happen after an episode of sore throat it is self resolving in 12 to 16 weeks without treatment treatment is of course anti streptococcal antibiotics and uh, if it doesn't clear out soon you can add on uvb therapy so you just remember this picture because this is something that can come as an image based mcq as well next let's go to something called as sibo psoriasis so basically it is psoriasis but it is occurring in a seboric distribution so which are the seboric areas of the body it is including the scalp the retroauricular area the nasolabial fold the eyebrows the armpits the groins the central chest and the central back okay so these are the seboric areas of the body but the psoriasis appears on those areas okay and very characteristically when you have psoriasis which is involving the scalp usually in seboric dermatitis it won't cross the hairline but here as you can see it is crossing onto the hairline and you can see a very classical plaque of psoriasis happening beyond the hairline also you can see the involvement of the retroauricular areas here you can appreciate the involvement of the beard area okay so basically you can see this is psoriasis but it is involving the seboric areas and please remember in fact this has been asked as an mcq earlier that whenever there is psoriasis which is affecting the scalp area it does not give rise to alopecia so this is one thing that you need to remember psoriasis of the scalp is does not lead lead to alopecia okay next this is flexural psoriasis now see this kind of a picture you may mistake it for uh, dermatophytic infection like uh, like uh, tinea cruris okay because it is also a it is also a plaque with polycyclic borders and scaling so this can be easily mistaken for uh, uh, tinea cruris but there are certain pointers one thing is that in cases of flexural psoriasis the lesions are going to be very symmetrical secondly they are going to be very well defined okay of course the scaling as i said because of humidity moisture friction you're not going to see as much scale as you would appreciate in uh, psoriasis vulgaris but nonetheless there is scaling okay but it is very mild in fact you have to elicit it actually and uh, if you are still confused about the diagnosis you can always do a koh mount if a koh mount is positive it is tinea corporis if it is negative you can also do a dermatoscopy which is a non invasive kind of a procedure and that will give you the diagnostic signs of psoriasis okay next is palmoplantar psoriasis now palmoplantar psoriasis also there can be confusion with hyperkeratotic palmoplantar eczema but there are certain signs which tells you it's psoriasis and not palmoplantar eczema one thing is that palmoplantar psoriasis will be a very kind chronic kind of a condition okay even if you Uh, even if you do apply things even if you are applying creams it will not completely go away yeah if you have psoriatic involvement of the nails that is something that will give you a clue to the diagnosis of psoriasis now let's go to the next question identify this variant of psoriasis whether it is chronic plaque type psoriasis flexural psoriasis guttate psoriasis or pustular psoriasis yes sadaf very rightly said it is pustular psoriasis swarnalata very good yes it is pustular psoriasis you can see that the primary lesion here is a pustule okay and these pustules they are kind of coalescing together and they are forming lakes of pus so this is something which is very classical for pustular psoriasis so please remember this pustular psoriasis it can be divided into two types it can be either localized or it can be generalized pustular psoriasis acute generalized pustular psoriasis is called as the pustular psoriasis of von zombusch 
it is a severe acute condition with associated fever the patient can have a lot of electrolyte disturbances patient can have hypoproteinemia and is definitely looking much more toxic also there is another variant which is called as annular type of psoriasis and the third variant is impetigo herpetiformis which is pustular psoriasis occurring in the background of pregnancy so please remember impetigo herpetiformis is a misnomer it is not impetigo means it is not a bacterial infection and it is no way related to herpes okay so please remember impetigo herpetiformis is a misnomer it is definitely not related to any kind of uh, bacterial infection or herpes and it is nothing but pustular psoriasis occurring in the background of pregnancy usually this particular problem happens in the last trimester and it resolves after delivery and then it would recur with every pregnancy please remember the only indication where you would give systemic steroids in a patient with psoriasis is impetigo herpetiformis in any other condition whether it may be psoriatic arthritis whether it may be chronic plaque type psoriasis you do not give any kind of systemic steroid in psoriasis okay so whenever it is a case of pustular psoriasis in pregnancy or whenever it is case it is a case of erythroderma occurring in the background of pregnancy you can give oral steroids and why do you have to treat this condition because it's an acute condition it is going to cause a lot of this electrolyte disturbances it is going to cause a lot of hypoproteinemia and that can complicate the pregnancy okay so that is why you have to treat it now if in the mcq they tell you okay that the patient is having pregnancy induced hypertension or if they tell you that the patient is having pregnancy induced diabetes or for some reason you cannot give a steroid then the second option that you have is cyclosporin okay so the drug of choice for impetigo herpetiformis is systemic steroids and if for some reason you cannot give steroids then your second drug of choice will be cyclosporin then there is localized type of pustular psoriasis which is called as palmo plantar pustulosis it especially when it happens around the nails it can lead to permanent loss of nails okay so that is called as acrodermatitis continua of halepi please remember that if you're going to take a you know if you're going to rupture one of those pustules and you're going to take them on a slide you're not going to see any kind of bacteria you're not going to see any kind of uh, you know candida okay they are basically sterile pustules and typically as you can see here there are pustules which are coalescing together so as to form a lake of pus now the drug of choice for pustular psoriasis is acetretin okay other drugs that you can still give include methotrexate cyclosporin and biologicals like the tnf alpha inhibitors then next comes erythrodermic psoriasis erythrodermic psoriasis what is the meaning of erythroderma erythroderma means that whenever any skin condition is involving more than or equal to 90% of the body surface area then you would classify it as erythroderma there are multiple causes of erythroderma in fact many of the causes of erythroderma are idiopathic okay but the other causes include psoriasis it includes all kinds of eczemas so that includes uh, atopic dermatitis it includes uh, allergic contact dermatitis seborrheic dermatitis drug induced erythrodermas can happen among the vesiculobullous disorders please remember pemphigus foliaceus is one condition which can give rise to an erythrodermic presentation among the disorders of keratinization remember pityriasis rubra pilaris can cause erythroderma and this erythroderma how do you identify because there will be typical islands of sparing okay apart from that uh, apart from that there can be multiple other important causes like uh, mycosis fungoides okay that is cutaneous t cell lymphomas so erythroderma can have n number of causes but psoriasis is one of the important causes of erythroderma and how would you identify that the erythroderma is because of psoriasis one thing you have to look out for the nails if the nails are showing you classic involvement of psoriasis then you can suspect that you know this particular erythroderma is because of psoriasis second thing what you can do is you have to ask the patient 
did the patient have any kind of scaly indurated plaques on the knees on the elbows on the scalp before he went into a phase of erythroderma or was it a de novo erythroderma okay now this please remember it's a very important condition erythroderma because here there is widespread cutaneous dilatation okay yes you can appreciate there is a lot of redness so because there is widespread cutaneous dilatation the heart has to pump more right so if the heart is compromised in any way and if it has to overwork it can go into failure correct so there can be high output cardiac failure secondly because see you can see the patient is losing scales right so because every scale you are going to lose a lot of protein you are going to lose iron you are going to lose folic acid you will going to lose multiple other vitamins micronutrients like zinc okay so in such a case it's very important that you supplement the patient with adequate protein because the patient is going to be in a hypoproteinemic state the next most important thing is here the patient will not be able to maintain temperature of the body so he goes into a condition which is called as poikiloderma sorry sorry poikilothermia poikilothermia means the patient is not able to maintain the core body temperature if the outside temperature is cold the body also becomes cold okay so they have a risk of going into hypothermia okay so please remember whenever you have an erythrodermic presentation if you want to control the disease activity very rapidly then you can start the patient on cyclosporin but with cyclosporin it is seen that once you decrease the dose or once you stop the cyclosporin it tends to come back okay so for that not to happen once you start cyclosporin then for rapid control then you maintain the patient on methotrexate you can also give acid retin so you can also give biologicals okay so it all depends on what is the comorbidity what is the affordability okay and what are the blood investigations of the patient of psoriasis and how acute the situation is okay now next question for all of you identify the phenomenon shown in the image so i'll give you a clue please look at this i'm pointing out to something please look at this feature please look at this feature please look at this feature okay also look at this feature okay so you need to tell me you have to identify the phenomenon which is shown in the image Yes, Gaurav Chitkara says it's Kibner. Sadaf says it's Kibner. Very good, both of you. So, what is Kibner's phenomenon? Kibner's phenomenon is the appearance of isomorphic lesions at the site of trauma. Now, that trauma can be anything. It could be physical trauma. It can be chemical trauma. It could be mechanical trauma. It could be because of some other disease which was there earlier. right so it is an isomorphic phenomenon of kibner so here most likely the patient has scratched okay so that is why the lesions have occurred in a line here also the patient has scratched now here what has happened is the patient has been wearing a belt right so that belt is causing pressure on this area and exactly on that area the patient has developed multiple lesions of psoriasis so this is the phenomenon of kibner very rightly said sadaf vitiligo and lichen planus also demonstrate true kibner phenomenon can you please tell me where do you see pseudo kibner phenomenon anyone where do you see pseudo kibnerization pseudo kibner phenomenon you will see in cases yes satvik you are very right and sadaf you are also right you will see pseudo kibner phenomenon when there is inoculation auto inoculation okay so when there is a infectious condition that you are dealing with right so you see it uh, in cases of warts and malascam as all of you have answered correctly yes sadaf yes it is due to auto inoculation right so malascam and warts demonstrate pseudo kibnerization okay can someone tell me where do you see reverse kibner where do you see reverse kibner phenomenon in dermatology reverse kibner means that if i traumatize a particular area the lesion from that area will disappear so where do you see reverse kibner 
Yes, Sadaf, you are very right. It is very intriguing, but you see Keepner as well as pseudo, uh, you also see reverse Keepner in patients of psoriasis. Okay, so the lesions of psoriasis will disappear if you traumatize a particular area or lesion of psoriasis. Okay, it is also seen in cases of granuloma annulare. Okay, so psoriasis and granuloma annulare they demonstrate the phenomenon of reverse Keepner. In fact, uh, granuloma annulare demonstrates something which is called as rever remote reverse Keepner. So, if you traumatize one area having a uh, uh, GA that is granuloma annulare the distant lesions will also disappear okay so that is seen in cases of that is also seen in cases of granuloma annulare also important from the MCQ point of view what you need to remember is there are certain rare causes of Keebner which have been asked earlier so please remember erythema multiforme Please remember Haley Haley disease and please remember vasculitis. These three conditions are rare causes of Keebner. Okay, so they may just ask you all of the following are causes of Keebnerization except. So you should be aware that you know these two are rare causes of Keebner, but they do exist. Okay, lichen sclerosis again is also uh, uh, shows the phenomenon of Keebnerization and so does lichen nitidus. Okay. Now, the next question and uh, for you, identify the sign, identify the sign on the basis of the image provided. So, here you can see the silvery uh, micaceous plaque of psoriasis and in the center, something has been done and there is pinpoint bleeding. Yes, uh, so Vish Vikash Kumar says it's auspic sign. Varsha and Akshat say it is Asbo Hansen sign. Sadav says it's Auspitz. Ashish says it's Auspitz. Shefali says it's Asbo Hansen sign. Okay, no problem. See, uh, D is the correct answer. Okay, it is the Auspitz sign, and this sign is very classically seen in psoriasis. In addition to psoriasis, you can also appreciate it in cases of actinic keratosis. Yes, Vikash Kumar, very, very good. Yes. So, there are various phases of the auspic sign. In the first stage, you just see that the scale is coming off like a grattage. Then you get exposure to the Belkley's membrane, as Vikash has very rightly said. And then when you go ahead, when you go beyond the Belkley's membrane, you, develop, you see the development of pinpoint hemorrhages. And that is very classically called as the auspic sign. Okay, now why do you see auspic sign in psoriasis? You see it because of two reasons. One is because there is uh, the scales that are coming out. Okay, it is because of the parakeratosis. Sadaf, very good. The other two reasons why you are seeing uh, the auspic sign is because of the suprapapillary thinning of the epidermis and the dilated blood vessels in the dermal papillae. Okay, carpet tax sign, where do you see it? Carpet tax sign is seen in? Carpet tax sign is seen in cases of discoid lupus erythematosus. Asbo Hansen sign, many of you have answered it incorrectly. Asbo Hansen sign is seen in vesiclobullous disorders. So, it is same like the bulla spread sign. Only thing is that you are applying the pressure from the top of the vesicle or the blister. Okay. Uh, oil drop sign is what you see in cases of nail psoriasis. So, it looks as if there is an oil drop which is placed below the nail plate. So, I think that's that's the time that we have today. Um, it was a great session. I think you have been very interactive. I think it was awesome. So, with that, I would just like to remind you of the plus subscription and the iconic subscription of... Uh, 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 of which is a combo of an academy and prep ladder and uh, there are free life classes on an academy please subscribe and please do uh, you know follow me on an academy so that you are intimated about every special class which is completely free which you get to see on an academy uh, also an academy is coming up with the neat pg 2022 test series and this happens every day at 9 p.m also, there is a free an academy live testing which happens every day at 8 p.m. And of course, for that you have to download the Unacademy Learning app. Uh, this Unacademy Learning app is easily available on your App Store and your Play Store. 
and when you do subscribe do use the code drration10 and get a 10% off and uh, please for all people who are appearing for the fmge batch uh, there is a specific batch coming up uh, which already has started off and uh, this will be covering uh, all the subjects between 12th october and 12th november and there are some esteemed uh, faculty involved yeah so with that thank you everyone for being so interactive i have enjoyed the session completely i hope to see you soon okay and do attend the special classes on an academy okay so see you all the best bye